I like the idea of it being a flowing experience. More of a little bit of a tour. Is my mic on? It is. See, I'm trying to think about the camera angle. <laughs> Hop on your bike. We're rolling. Here we are in East Village in Calgary. This is one of the most exciting urban redevelopments I've seen. They're building new streets, new apartments, a new library, a new performing arts center. And we've been involved in making the public places. Ah, nothing like a beautiful morning ride. And there's nothing I'd rather do than ride a bike like this. You really feel like you're part of the landscape, and you can also ignore traffic rules. Try not to crash. It's about eight or nine degrees, crispy. Everybody's looking, wondering, why has he got that funny camera on his bike? This forest is probably about 60 years old and is a result of the last major flood. These cottonwoods only reseed effectively after a flood. There's so many stories like that that we want people to know. We looked at old photographs and we found that 80 years ago, there used to be what we call a breach across the island. We recreated that breach and actually created a new channel for the river that cuts right across the middle of the island. So here's a little feature we call the transect. This is about 600 feet long and it cuts right across the island. And we're about to cross something we call the lowland channel. This is something we created. In another year, it'll be a wetland. We create little islands for songbirds. But it's really a way to experience the island in a whole different way. We've got a little plaza space, amphitheaters, places for school groups. We've already seen one school group sitting right here out just talking about the restoration of the island. Everything about this island is accessible, which is something we just believe is very, very important. One of the ideas that we had is how can we make this island feel safe? So you can always see ahead. Oh, here's Claire. Hey, Claire. So we have public bathrooms, some interpretation, give you the history of the island and where this project came from. We might get stuck in the muck. Yep, we're in the muck. There's a large hill in front of us we call the Rise. When we dug out the breach or the new channel, we had this extra soil and so we made this hill. So you can get up on top of this hill and look back at the river in downtown and people downtown can see you. It's a, this is a special place to come interesting place to be. People told us it wouldn't be possible to get a permit, you know, do such massive construction to cut a, a new river through an island and to make a big hill in the middle of the floodplain. But we were able to do that because there's so much restoration that we're doing here. It takes a, a team of different kinds of minds to design something like this. And the design ideas come from everyone. They come from that entire team, not just from one or two designers. I think that the reason the island is already successful is that the design is based on some really truthful things about this place. Well, actually, we've made, made a, uh, plenty of room for the beaver, a proud and noble animal. <laughs>